It's everyone's friend, it's Graham Jim He's your only left wing friend, so he's your best left wing friend I wouldn't trade him for another left friend Because left friends are rare as you should be aware He looks like that Rasputin, so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Graham Jim It's everyone's friend, it's Graham Jim a little homage to Tyler Preston 20 there who you should go and subscribe to because everyone needs a black friend um okay I know you probably want me to comment on other stuff that's going on big dramatic stuff but there's really nothing to say about about Vegas that hasn't already been said I'm not in favor of guns that yeah really an end to it. There, there, there's solutions, there's other countries that have comparable or at least remotely comparable levels of gun ownership and don't get into all that. Don't have these same problems, so it's partly cultural, partly availability. People know what the solutions are, there's just no will to do it. So I've got no comment there. But I personally have a YouTube related problem that I need your assistance on. I have been targeted on the video that I uploaded, the uh, Citizens for Decent Literature one, the, the Perversion for Profit one, the public domain film that I thought people might be interested in, and appended a little commentary on the front. I've been targeted by a company called Egida over that. Now, Egida is some kind of sp Spanish or, or Mexican content protection service. And they've come after me for uploading this film, apparently because part of that public information film appears in a 2004 film. So some automated process has, has picked it up and you know, flagged the video as a copyright violation. They've got in touch with me, apparently via an automated system to make the claim. I've counterclaimed back and said, look, it's, it's public domain. Here's where I got it from, an archive says it's public domain, Creative Commons license, public domain status, no problem, sent that, sent that back. And almost immediately, which means it was probably an automated system, I got a message back again saying, no, we're still challenging your claim. So now I have a few days to either accept their claim or not. If I don't, the video will be taken down, I'll get a copyright strike, and basically I've never had a situation like this before and I don't know what to do. Is it worth me challenging it? How severe are the effects of getting a copyright strike? I know you can have up to three. You know, what, what, what's the situation here? I haven't had to deal with this. I have no idea. I have no idea what my standing is. I have no idea what will happen when I continue to appeal. So if anyone can help me out, that would be really useful. Now, apparently Agida has something of a reputation uh, for doing this. If you search Agida, E-G-E-D-A, I think, You'll find Reddit threads of people complaining about them making spurious DMCA claims. There was a lawsuit somewhere back in 2015, I think, which they lost, but apparently they're, they're still at it. They're still making these spurious claims. Um, this used to happen more uh, back in the day, people making spurious claims on videos trying to get, get money because they knew a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't challenge them on it. So I, I don't know. Principle says I should dig my heels in and, and fight. But I don't know whether that's a good idea. I mean, it, it's, it seems cut and dried to me that there isn't a problem here. So uh, any advice anyone could give uh, would be great. Thanks. This is Agida's page. They say they're a non-profit, but they seem to go after anything and everything rather aggressively. <laughs> so that's who we're up against. This is their US page. That's the one that I, uh, I sent a message to directly now after having to look them up. They never emailed me directly. And here's the Perversion for Profit page that I downloaded from. Uh, you can see if you look closely down at the bottom, it's public domain and has you know, a, a Creative Commons license, uh, which allows for commercial use. So there shouldn't be any problem with me either uploading it or monetizing it. And this is the film they're claiming on behalf of, which is called uh, Flesh for Sale, the Pier Vendida or however you pronounce it, um, which I've looked around for clips from, trailers, stills, that sort of thing, and it's not just the same film. What's probably happened is that there is a, a clip from Perversion for Profit 
um, in their film and that's what they've matched and that's what's triggered the whole thing. So there we are. Now interestingly there were two copyright claims on that video when I uploaded it. The first one was from a, a music label. Apparently some song somewhere has used samples from Perversion for Profit in the song and, and that's uh, what, it, what it matched up. But they retracted their claim after, after I challenged it and linked to the archive page and the Creative Commons license. These guys haven't. But I don't think I've talked to a human being yet. Um, and they do have this bad reputation online. Again, if you look at Reddit, uh, there's several YouTubers that have been hit and have made videos about it. So, I mean, I, I need advice. I don't know how to, how to proceed here. I mean, we don't want to give ground to these people. And I'm a man of principle. So I would like to tell them to fuck off, basically. But I, I don't know how the process works from here, how much of a, of a risk I'm taking. I mean, I think from what I've shown you, and I'll, I'll put links below, I'm on solid ground. It's a public domain film. It has a Creative Commons license. If there's an issue, it should be with the archives where you can download it, who put it up for the wrong reasons, if, that, if that's the case. But these are, these are creditable archives. So, uh, what should I do? What can I expect? Um, let me know. Cheers, Zhang. Crunchy bikes, nutty bikes.